Simple question, why do Victorian officials refuse to report on the vaccination status of those who die from COVID? Why? What's there to hide? Yesterday, Victoria recorded its deadliest day in the current outbreak with 1,923 new cases and 25 deaths, despite having just over 91% of the eligible Victorian population having received at least one jab, and 77% who are now fully vaccinated. Why are they not reporting on their vaccination status? I think we all know the answer. Too many people who are fully vaccinated are dying. If that's not the case, just say that 24 out of 25 of those deaths were unvaccinated. Don't you think that Premier Daniel Andrews would be the first one to tell us? Wouldn't that be a perfect incentive for all of us to race out and get vaccinated? But instead, Deputy Chief Health Officer Ben Cowie said, The data is available, but we're not going to be reporting on that. Why not? Isn't that important information? Isn't transparency the key? Apparently not. Instead, in order to keep with the agenda, he said, 85% of Victorians who tested positive to COVID-19 in the past seven days were not fully vaccinated. It's strange that he can confidently state that figure, but for whatever reason, can't divulge how many of the people who died were vaccinated. You know what this sounds like to me? It sounds like he's trying to con us. If the vaccine works, great, tell us. If the vaccine doesn't work as well as first thought, well, we're all adults, tell us that too. I don't care whether the vaccine works or not, but if it doesn't work as well as first thought, for crying out loud, be honest with us. The moment Daniel Andrews and his team start hiding figures from us is the moment we can no longer trust them. You can trust me, I'm from the government. Bullshit. I suppose it's not very surprising. This is the guy who's proposing new laws that will allow him to declare pandemics, and anybody who breaches his arbitrary health orders can be thrown in jail for two years or receive a $90,000 fine. Yeah, Victoria's f***ed. It's not all bad news though. Victoria is under pressure to follow New South Wales in dropping vaccine passports. Prime Minister Scott Morrison believes the Andrews government could follow in the footsteps of New South Wales and move towards scrapping its vaccine passport system. The Andrews government is coming under increasing pressure from some experts to ditch its plan for a vaccine passport system, with Prime Minister Scott Morrison saying the state could safely continue its reopening without the passports. Whether or not this pans out or not, who knows, but the current trend isn't looking very good. Unvaccinated Victorians to be locked out of non-essential retail stores. Victorians who want to shop at non-essential retail stores will need to be fully vaccinated once the state reaches its 90% vaccine milestone. Which doesn't make any scientific sense whatsoever. If unvaccinated people are such a threat, then why are they allowed to shop anywhere? Surely hundreds of unvaccinated people cramming into a supermarket is just as much a threat as cramming into a coffee shop. But let's not kid ourselves. This was never about the science, was it? Nah, this was about compliance. Shut up and get your f***ing jab.